Well, I, I'm not a prince of the church. I don't accept that, uh, um, that sort of nickname. Uh, I, I don't think the prince needs churches. Uh, the church needs princes. I do believe the, the church needs missionaries, and that's how I understand myself. This invitation of the Holy Father to serve in the College of Cardinals is a different way of being a missionary. Well, I think the Holy Father uh, spoke of this without using the word balkanization. I used that word a, a couple of years ago in a, a talk I gave to the College Theological Society in the United States in May of 2014. What the word means is a fragmentation, you know, a fragmentation along ideological lines. And uh, that fragmentation is reinforced by people who don't speak longer with each other or they speak only with those who, uh, who agree with them. So uh, I think that there certainly is a danger in the United States because this balkanization or fragmentation already exists strongly in American society. I thought all you have to do is study the last election and the campaign that led up to it. It's uh, very sad when this sort of tendencies pass uncritically into the Catholic Church. Well, certainly the message of the president-elect was not a message to unite Americans. Mm -hmm. It was to divide them. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think in some ways he's been very successful at doing that. Of course, the divisions didn't begin with President Trump. They've been there for a while. I had lived 20 years outside the United States, mm -hmm. and I think one of the most surprising features when I returned was to witness this sort of division. I think the first experience I have with immigrants is I'm the grandson of immigrants. My grandmother came from uh, Ireland and she spoke English well, but uh, she always prayed in Irish because she wasn't sure God understood English. Uh, I then was privileged to serve communities of immigrants as a young priest, uh, principally Hispanic, but also Arabic immigrants people from Jordan and Syria, and most recently as the Archbishop of uh, Indianapolis, mm -hmm. uh, I had uh, a disagreement with the governor of the state regarding the admission of uh, and resettlement of Syrian refugees. Mm -hmm. So I think there is a contrast between the position of the, uh, the new administration in the United States and certainly the Catholic Church and the, and the United States Catholic uh, Conference of Catholic Bishops. Well, I think St. Alphonsus would uh, ask us first to study, yeah. study the text, because he once said, I believe, a problem in the church is when the confessors do not study and the professors don't hear c confessions. <laughs> I think the, uh, I think secondly, it's very important to remember that Amoris Laetitia mm -hmm. is uh, the product of two synods. It's not simply that the Holy Father sat down at his desk and began writing. He was present for two synods and, uh, and used that reflection, which we believe was guided by the Holy Spirit, to produce the, the doctrine. Thirdly, I think that the Holy Father is not simply proposing very concrete answers to questions, as much as some people would like that. Instead, he's proposing a process of moral reflection mm -hmm. that uh, is not simply a, a yes or no answer, but rather, how do we discern the will of God? How do we form our consciences? How do we deal with people that uh, uh, cannot always live to the letter of the law? Now, I think St. Alphonsus would f be familiar with this mm -hmm. because this was a question in his time. And he, he used all of his intelligence, not simply to repeat the norms, mm -hmm. but to apply them pastorally and compassionately to weak human beings. Mm -hmm. 
Well, I think that the uh, the experience of my archdiocese was very good. Mm-hmm. They they welcomed the year of mercy. We had a number of different celebrations and activities, a number of, uh, I suppose, new projects that came out of the Year of Mercy. But I think, for me, one of the most memorable experiences was speaking about mercy in the prisons. Mm. I frequently go to the prisons in my archdiocese, and it was my experience that the prisoners understand mercy and because they have no reason to brag before God. All they can ask from God is mercy. And the Holy Father helped them understand that God is merciful. And I think this gave them great confidence and strengthened their faith during this year. So because I go frequently to the prisons, I could see the change in the prisoners over the course of this year.